Hi, Europe? Yeah, just one question for you. Um, where are all your dudes? I'm just wondering, because it would seem like there are no men left over there. Like, where were all the guys on uh, New Year's Eve in Cologne or Berlin or Hamburg? And where are all the men in Sweden, like, every day while chicks are getting raped? I looked in Amsterdam, but all I could find there were these sissies in skirts pretending violent sex attackers actually give a damn about their protest. Oh, and I checked in with Sweden. All I found there was this police chief who sympathizes with a migrant murderer. Then I looked in Norway, and they're pretty sure that their anti-rape courses for migrants will be enough to keep the whole need for men thing at bay. And I checked in with Denmark, but they're a little busy prosecuting a woman who pepper sprayed a rapist yet to return my calls. Wait, what's that? M men are uh, afraid to be men because feminism? I guess you're right. I mean, when even the NATO Secretary General is tweeting about his meeting with Prime Minister Trudeau and their discussion of the role of men as feminists, it does seem like we're in a testosterone recession. See, in the wake of women's lib, feminism has been totally hijacked and in their tyranny of the classroom and pop culture has created a male population in both private society and the political class alike to be totally girly. Danish journalist Eben Thranholm, well, she put it perfectly. I think if you look at our politicians, they're very soft. They're like mothers. I mean, they are embracing, they're inclusive, and they talk about how we should embrace refugees. Of course, we should help people that are in need. But, I mean, they can't deal with the rapings, they can't deal with terrorism. So, I mean, European politicians look very weak, and that's because our culture has become feminized. In destroying male hero virtues, we have lost our balance in societies. This isn't to say that women are incapable of governing or that we shouldn't extol traditionally female qualities like nurturing and motherhood, but banning masculinity has been a failed experiment. By shunning that instinct to protect women and children for the sake of women's equality, we've actually left women worse off. And so abandoned by girly men in government, police, and civil society, European women must now fend for themselves. And it's weird, right? Because history has delivered so many great male heroes from European governments and battlefields. Where are our heroes today? I'm not arguing for aggressive, preemptive strikes or an invasion of territory. But there are over a million people who have come to feminine Europe as a result of your invitation and bringing them with them murderous violence and sexual attacks. And this isn't hyperbole, people. These are the facts. And your response is to leave your doors open and put on a miniskirt? I mean, what message are you hoping to send? At Newsflash, thanks to several sections of the Quran and a hyper-patriarchal societal structure, a lot of these guys don't actually respect women. And they'll respect dudes dressed as women even less. But thanks to feminism's buddy evil multiculturalism, we're too afraid to say that either. I mean, it's no wonder that women took to the streets after the sex attacks in Germany with flowers for migrants. I mean, today's feminists are more concerned with appearing xenophobic than actually protecting women. Hey, men, here's a tip. Remove your pair from the feminist hands in which they are now held, reattach, and revolt. <laughs>